Hey everybody, Kathy here with Paint Pouring by Kathleen Miller. Today I'm doing two 12 by 12 canvases. And we're gonna see what happens here. We're in the big puppy pool. We're doing the diptych. And uh, I'm only doing six colors today. I didn't feel very colorful with my 12, so I decided to tone it down a little bit and give it a different type of uh, contrast. So, I'm using my cranberry and French lilac pigment, Payne's Gray pigment, Yellow Pale and Dreamy Lemon Yellow by Arteza. My new one that I made up today is Pale Green and Pearl Chartreuse. This is Orange Red, Pearl Papaya, and my famous Bordeaux Red. So, I have my canvas already all finished. My cell activators are going to be black today and greenish blue and blue violet. So, we're gonna see what happens here. Hope everybody's having a great day. We gotta go over the equator, as Phil says. <laughs> That's true. I don't know what the temperature is at the equator, but it's a little hot in here. I love well, this Well, I'm color. sure it's hot and humid there, so. Probably. It's not humid here, but it's hot here. Okay. Now, my paint's gray. I don't know why they call this paint's gray, because it, it's a beautiful shade of, like, bluish, turquoise whatever. This is really pretty. And that should be a good contrast to the lighter colors. Yeah, hopefully. My yellow. And that's a mixture, correct? It's a mixture of two. Dreamy uh, yellow lemon and yellow pale. You know me, I gotta mix up my colors. I'm not satisfied unless I mix them all up. I'm using two old canvases that I had from a while back. Don't ever throw your canvases out. You can always reuse them. That is true. It's always nice to and I'll have some extra canvases around and not uh, have to always use brand new ones. Because when they turn out, they're just like brand new anyways. Yeah, you can't, you can't tell that you, another no. painting or another experiment or whatever you, you did on them to begin with is, is even there. No. This is that orange concoction that I made up. Got to go over the equator. And last but not least, our Bordeaux red. Got to put the Bordeaux red in. It's pretty. Oh, yeah. Always comes out so vivid. Okay, now that I'm all full of paint. Okay, now to get my activators going here. Well, we're gonna see what happens. Here's my favorite, black. Well, you know it is my favorite, so. We don't even have to talk about that. Because that is my favorite. You notice I have three containers of that. All right. So, here we go, people. Let's see what happens here. Okay. Okay. 
You just want to lay your cards down gently. You don't want to push it into the paints. You just want to do it very gently. Otherwise, you're, you're just, gonna. You're just basically trying to spread the cell spread activity the love over the paint. Right. You're spreading the love, Phil. That's what you do. You just put it right over the paints. Ah. Okay, I'm going over. Yeah, go go over the equator, please. Oh, that's not going to work too good because it missed that area. It's it's not going to tie in. Now oh, you can go over it again, I guess. How is that, Phil? It's nice, but I <laughs> I would prefer you go farther on each side of the equator instead of just stopping because that'll really tie it more together. There we go. Now you've got good areas on both sides that will tie together. that going to tie it in for you? You got it. Perfecto. That blue is pretty. Mm-hmm. Wow. That one probably did it for you, Phil. It did. It did. I could tell the expression on your face. Ah. I can just tell. You got to get that equator tied in. Mm-hmm, but can I, and I, one thing that I noticed when we've done other ones, if you, if you make the long part of the swipe every time on one side, then the two sides don't match as much. Correct. So that's how we're going to the other side now. You got to do that on the other side. Right down here. Look at those cells popping up. Yeah, they are. It's really, um, really takes a long time to do your swipes when you have a big canvas. Well, you got to make sure you've swiped in all the areas you want to swipe into. Exactly. And when you've got two canvases that turn into a 12 by 24 basically size, it's, it does take some time. And it does. That it does, but it's worth it because it, it's pretty. Yes. Yeah, the cell activator is doing its thing. Yeah, I'm curious to see uh, what this is going to look like. Because I mean, it really, 
with all of the um, colors and stuff. Mm -hmm. It should be interesting. Okay, what am I going to do here? We're going to go down here. We're going to go to the other side. You only used six colors and they are, they're all showing up in different shades of the colors. There's the... Sorry, Phil. That's okay. Can't turn it. <laughs> There's the equator I always obsess about. <laughs> Uh, yes, you do. That is for sure. I'll tell you, I get so full of paint. It's like, holy moly. But you can't paint without getting full of, well, Phil paints without getting full of paint. Not really. <laughs> no, because I make you touch stuff. And then you have a big fit. But that's the fun of it. And you just go wash it all off. And away you go. You start all over. Oh, yeah. What? The one area we have a little trouble getting the paint to are these right. corners right in the middle because mm -hmm. the paint doesn't stretch there. So I think that's an area try to, to, get that. Yeah, to do a swipe that gets those covered so we don't have to worry about them. Hopefully that'll do the trick. Yeah, that'll do the trick. Cause just don't get quite enough stretching of the paint to... Yeah, hopefully that'll do the trick. I'm hoping. Wishing and mm -hmm. hoping. Well, that's another song that I haven't heard in a long time either. I'm almost getting there, Phil. Almost. What about that big wide area? I know. No, I'm turning it now. It's coming okay. my way. So I got a lot to go right here. With my five of spades, is going to do the trick. See how that did the trick? It did the trick. Ooh, I almost got that. Uh, on do my you shorts. need to get a little closer because that white is sort of close to the middle again? What are you that, talking that about? That white triangle there. I think you need to. Get Here? Some, yes. I think oh, yeah. Get... Well, no, I'm getting there, Phil. Oh, okay. I'm getting there. All right. There's one, two, three, four. There's five places. Don't worry. I'm getting there. Oh, wow. I knew that was going to bring up some. Mm-hmm. I knew it. We're getting there. It's going to be mm -hmm. pretty. You may have to order some more cards online for me. Jeez. You're going through cards like crazy. Oh, brother. That's okay. They're going to think that we're running like a casino here. <laughs> we're going to get raided. Yeah, the UPS guy's going to go, shoot, you want to go have some fun playing cards at the Millers? They just ordered four more decks. Maybe we should order pinochle cards. <laughs> <laughs> that might be better. I'm getting there. I just got to get these edges. Okay, that's fine. And then we can do the rack. So you don't want to leave the edges because there won't be any cells.
You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Jelly bean. Okay. We're almost there. Oh, we're getting caught on that thing over there, but that's okay. I think I, I got yep. it pretty well covered. Think you got her? I wonder if I should maybe just do eh, maybe a tad, a little one. Okay. A baby one. So we got the thing, the painting, or canvases, and the paint has swiped. Yep, it is. Got this saddle activator Perkin doing its thing, creating some beautiful cells. I don't know if I'm going to swipe between there because I can no, see how not, they're all matching. I wouldn't. Uh, I don't think I'm going I to. I would not wreck at all. Oh, really? There. You don't want to wreck anything? No, I meant over the equator. Oh. Gonna do it that way, and then I'm gonna go up this way, and that's all I'm wrecking in this. Mm -hmm. Okay. That's it. That's perfect. Yep. Perfect. Because I don't want to go down this way, because that might make too big of a mm -hmm. thing. No, I think ah. you've. Uh... Okay, we're gonna see what happens with this, people. Okay, I gotta do my right hand first, now I'm gonna do my left. Can you maybe push this back a little bit? Because it's gonna get caught. It's gonna get caught. <sighs> Don't be stubborn. <laughs> well, it's really just hitting the yardstick, so it won't hurt anything. really matching up. Yes, it is. Holy cow. Oh, yeah. That did it. Yeah. That did it. Yeah, that turned out really nice. Oh, baby. Look at it. It's matched. Yeah, my... Oh. The equator is matched up very nicely. Oh, it did. Look at, look at the uh, wreck you did there. How beautiful that oh. that uh, made that. And this. Oh yeah, and, and that wreck through oh. here. I love this. It actually matched up. Mm -hmm. Oh, I'm so oh. excited. This is this is one people <laughs> of the hardest things to do on a spinner is match it up in the dip diptych because it, you don't know how it's going to turn out and I think it turned out great mm -hmm. when you just do one canvas it's easy but when you're doing two to get it to match it's really hard yes Phil oh, did you want to try to get that off no, no? okay oh, it's beautiful. I don't it's beautiful because it matches up too good yes it does to have to have it lose anything I don't want to lose any of the okay super but yeah, I mean, it's it's beautiful. It turned out really, really pretty. I'm really excited with this. So if you like it, give me a thumbs up, share it. Um, please subscribe to our channel if you haven't. If you have, thank you very much for joining our family. We love all of you. And um, what else can I say? Except we enjoy your support. We love your comments. And I try to answer every comment every day. So leave me a comment, shoot me anything you want to, give me suggestions, and until the next one, I'll see you later. Bye.